Today we are taking a look at Twos and for those who don't know Twos is a strange application because it combines so much in one app and it's trying to be a notes app, calendar app and also like a to-do app as well in one location. Basically everything you want to remember they're trying to bring it in one app. So if you're interested in Twos by the end of this video you can check out the, the card up here <laughs> and also in the description there'll be a link to Twos directly. But as you can see Twos has really changed since I last checked it out and if you're new to it very simply the concept is you get to write down things and they want you to remember your things so they do it in a few different ways in helping you bring them back up when they're most important but you can see here I've got a daily note to start things off and what I can do is I can make a to do from this like uh, clean the car and I could even you know write something like Friday at 5 p.m. 4 p.m. and press enter and obviously it will set a reminder so thinking to do's notes reminders and if I press enter Enter, you can see that that reminder will come up for 4 p.m. As you can see here, I can add some more context to that reminder, whether it's a little bit more repeating, you know, like whether there's an alert, they have a mobile app. There's quite a lot to this application. And I can see I can also press the button here because I can create anything from a photo to a template that I've made, a sub list, a divider. And you can use a little bit of AI to do some generative AI stuff like create act as a copy editor, correct some grammar, translate and explain. Nothing that you would and see inside of some other sort of generative AI experiences. Now at the top right, I can create a new list and this could be like movies for 2024 or like, wait, just call it movies to watch. And I might be able to like work Planet of the Apes. That's definitely on the list there. So um, as you can see, I can add this to a bookmark and bookmarks can have uh, a different color. And you can see that the bookmarks appear on the left-hand side. So you're starting to get an idea, right? I can create lists, create notes, I can create to-dos, but there's sort of like a interweaving relationship between all of these because there's a home page where you can see all of the recent lists that you've taken, any upcoming reminders, any to-dos that are basically extracted from any of the notes that you've created whether that be on the daily notes that you've made or whether they're on upcoming ones the nice thing is you can actually see your week ahead in this like really neat like sort of planned view so if i scrubble ahead i could see okay I can start planning what my why week's tasks are ahead so for example next friday could be like um i could do taxes that's not going to be fun, is it? Um, and I'm going to tick that off, say, hypothetically. And you can see that every time you complete something, you sort of get coins towards, which I'll explain in a moment, coins towards stuff, but also it's sort of very well celebrated inside of the application. You can switch this as well to a vertical view, which is more like a traditional list view. But coming back to that home area, this is almost like your sort of Evernote home type experience of having everything in one bay, but you can customize it a little bit further. So if I wanted to, I could have um, the today area at the top, I could have any activity down at the bottom. I could add any list that, um, like that movies to watch one that I created. If I go back to home, you can start to see that it's done to pull in all of that stuff that I had before, like activity of uh, people that we've referred through the links. And you can start to see a general, like, bringing together, if that word, uh, a general sense of everything coming together inside of this application. So as you can see, uh, there's a few other different areas of this application. And lists is what you think it is to all of those day associated lists and those list associated lists and you can see here that I can create templates from those so for example if I have a particular list it could be like a blog post checklist whatever you tend to work with or maybe even a, a daily end of day review that you typically work with then that's where you can create these you can also see all your collaborative lists which are ones that you share with other people and public published and saved lists as well and that's where the sort of world element comes in you can basically create a list that goes out to the world so if I press this and I go to publish let me just say just testing this feature hello world you can go back to world and logically it should come up in this uh this feed maybe it's uh here we go lists um so this is sort of like a demonstration of how that's working uh, i guess because it's not a thing it's not coming up in here because i haven't added a thing have i added a thing maybe i have but anyway it's coming up in lists at least so that's just a demonstration of how that feature works so it's sort of like a public blog it's not really anything i guess this might be a place for like knowledge sharing and if you want to be able to like share templates with other people this one could be good for 
like here we go someone's created a if it's created open the link it's created a like a business plan template so you can use that template and sort of bring it into your system which is quite nice so that's the whole world concept but what's nice as well if you don't need this the reason why i'm actually bringing this into the play to start with is if you don't need this if you go to settings uh, appearance home you can basically remove stuff that you don't want to see in your home oh no that's no sorry you can remove stuff in your menu that you don't want to see like world you can actually remove it to more which is down here so as you can see it's disappeared so that's why i mentioned it first because if you don't find that feature particularly useful then you can move it out of your system and sort of like build and play a build a sort of custom area that you want so as i said uh you know the today area is pretty self-explanatory you can scrubble ahead and move ahead to dates like i said up here you can auto sort based on other factors as well like the you can break things down by whether there's to do's and things like that in there and there's quite a lot of extensive settings in here like where there's a progress circle that appears at the top and some information about the page and statistics from people who have viewed it but if i were to tick it off i assume yeah, that circle has been completed it gets you an idea of the tasks that you need to do what's this down here i've not seen that before maybe that's a like a, a way to use audio to add stuff in but anyway we'll come back to that in a moment i've shown you lists let's show you calendar so you can start to see that i've got a few reminders like that movies to watch that i've created today and adjust testing this feature that i created today so that's where the calendar bits will appear and these are the times that i created them so i guess it's not really like it's it's almost like a log of your day more than it is a plan for your day so it's not really a calendar feature per se but it's a way of visualizing what you've got on your calendar you can also see the lists and the days and filter it down but largely this is more i would call this a log feature but it's still very helpful for people who are, are very much date orientated stars are things that you want to quickly star inside of across all of the different experiences you can create a star on any things that you've created in this case i guess i can star this there we go and that button just basically allows you to change it to a bullet but in this case i'm going to star it and you can see it bang important ones to start here now to do's can be extracted but they can also be sort of uh, so for example you know i created that one for a, this one for taxes let's just say hypothetically i add a task here this is me being silly there we go taxes and i went to to do's and i went to upcoming what should happen is because i created this one here this one should populate in here there we go so to do's and i guess is ah okay i understand this is an upcoming reminder it needs to have a reminder to be able to associate there which is very helpful now this ability allows you to see it in a focused view but if i want to add a reminder i can so for example i could add this maybe the day before so i'm not like too stressed about the actual tax and you can see that the upcoming comes there as well now there's a few other things you can do inside of this you can do a focus mode which is like a pomodoro timer that you can set and you can choose custom timer which i think is quite nice and you can add plus five and that's just a way of getting into the zone with this and you can also split them into split by character by split enters characters to split by maybe if i type in period i'm guessing and maybe they have to explain that feature to me <laughs> i went too deep maybe <laughs> um but i really like how they've got this feature because there's quite a lot of extensive abilities that you can do down here just a demonstration of the ai one you could break the to-dos down like for example taxes you know there we go so i could replace that and it's now like a really detailed document but you get an idea i don't i don't find these features that useful with ai to be honest but i think some people might you can also you complete the stuff cancel stuff hidden stuff etc and past stuff that you've done down here there's an area called twos twosers so i can see people that are following my account who might want to connect and you can see all the people in the twos world who are using twos at the moment and up here here's a way you can review your notes now this i think could be actually quite helpful for flashcard use so for example you want to review the list in next three days and you can go through stuff like almost like there used to be a feature called any do moments where you sort of process things i quite like this um and this concept could be quite useful for those who are studying or those who want to bring stuff back in next year like say you set yourself some goals for 2024 <laughs> and you're like right i'm going to do them in six months that's going to come back in six months in this review area and you can see that that's going to see it just re-added it at the bottom there which is perfect you can also say never to it but this is a great area for reviewing things there's also more which allows you to see reminders tags templates and memories seeing the memory 
feature been brought up you can see like what happened on this day type feature which is quite nice and you can see this week view which is quite nice as well so i guess this is more of the calendar view than it is the other ones a calendar view maybe i'm being silly but i think largely the week view is, is a lot better to see so if i want to customize this and bring the week view because I, I quite like that concept then i can have that there but what's nice as well is you can set up your mobile nav bar so when you got the mobile app you can actually see exactly what you're working on and what's ahead so down here let me explain the pricing concepts because it's quite a strange one and, and for this example i'm going to have to go over to their website so if i go to pricing here there we go so here pricing there's no free trials or data caps but when you earn coins you can redeem stuff so for example this feature hyperlinks is buyable so i think each feature is buyable there's no like direct line of like right here's the features that you have and here's the features that you don't have i'm guessing because i've referred a lot of people i might have a lot of features let me have a look at the coins element of this so if i earn coins i've got eighty thousand coins i mean come on <laughs> You can go and collect coins for things you've got and you can start to see I'm going to collect all 100 coins that I've just collected from doing things. I guess I can redeem stuff when they show up in the app. So for example, if I'm like in the app and I add a hyperlink, let's just test it to see for demonstration's sake. Let's just add toolfinder.co. Let's just add the URL. There we go. So I'm guessing I have this feature. I don't know how the pricing works because I assume that would be a premium feature, but I will get back to you on the pricing. I'm not sure how, I think what they're trying to do is more of a sort of like a, a coin based experience. You sort of, the more use around it, the better you get from it. So that's just something I think that's quite aware. This thing to, for you to be aware of. This application has changed a lot since the last time I checked it out. It's really evolved into a very interesting experience. It's got some really nice appearance based stuff. Like for example, I've got it, I believe I've got it on like not the normal mode, but you can switch back to any of these modes, like a slightly blue mode. It's a very strange application to pitch to somebody because it's a notes app. It's like a reminder app. It's a to do's app. It's a flashcardy type app. It's a very interesting one. But I would say this is really an interesting app if you're somebody that is looking for something that's maybe not so serious in terms of a, a fully fledged system like Todoist. And you're looking for something much lighter, but you want to be able to organize yourself and you want to be able to organize ahead and you want notes to be in there and you want tasks to be in there. It's a very interesting application. I think it's one of these things that if people see it, connect with it, then they're sort of like, wow, this is an interesting experience. I I'm going to check it out and I think <laughs> I actually think it's a very interesting offering the mobile app is also very friendly to use you can also use tabs on desktop I feel like I've covered everything so that element of the pricing side of stuff is is really good to good to see because I feel like you sort of pay as you go but what I quite like about it is these the twos guys that you know Parker and Joe interact with them a lot on Twitter they are the most relentless guys for promoters in the world but in the nicest way possible it's a lovely thing like if you this I think encapsulates how they do things and I, I quite like how they are their personalities are brilliantly shown um and, and in their journey on producing twos but you can see just how like twosified their life is and they the great thing is it's it's really good when you see somebody that uses their app and that just they build it for themselves so I think that's why they're so passionate about it. And that's so good to see as a company. So um, yeah, Twos is a really interesting application. It's one that is garnering a lot of attention in the productivity space. And if you're interested in checking it out, you can find them linked below. But I hope you enjoyed this review. It sort of felt like a deep exploration into the world of Twos, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for stopping by on this video. If you are new here, do subscribe to Keep Productive and we'll uh, help you find the best productivity tool in software for the future. So thank you very much and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you can check out another video here on YouTube diving into productivity tools. But if you did want to, you can jump over to Toolfinder to discover any productivity tools, which will be linked here as well. We have a resource of over 250 productivity tools and growing. And naturally, there are reviews, insights and much more. So do check it out below. But thank you very much for watching this video.